So I was like, you know what? I don't care if people see my IV pole. And out I went. Good morning, guys. <coughs> Good morning to Mary. Good morning to the Ollie. The cat's up on my desk, <laughs> bathing in the sun. The sun comes in the front of the house in the morning and right on my desk. So he's just like living his best life in the sunshine. Are you gonna do some painting here? Yep. All right, I gotta run. I uh, gotta go get oil change in the car, <laughs> tires rotated, <laughs> that sort of thing. So here we go. Here's my little workspace while uh, the car's getting an oil change. I'm just outside the place, got a little water retention behind me, pretending it's like a scenic pond, but you know, highway running behind me, but it's actually pretty nice out here. And uh, hey, make the most of it, getting some work done. All right, just got home. I'm gonna, I think Mary and the animals are out back, so let's go, let's go see if we can spy on them first. A little garden tour. Ollie detects that we're here. Hi, buddy. You are, you, I can't sneak up on you. Hey there, friends. Oh, Ollie was laying right there and it was so peaceful. He was laying, Oh, That's so fun. I randomly put this hammock up the other day and we've been loving having it out here. Yeah, as I was doing IVIG yesterday, mm -hmm. I was remembering being on the seminary campus. Oh yeah. And we brought the IV pole out. Oh, we didn't goodness. have like our own yard. It was just like a community yard. Yeah. And I'd hang in the hammock. Peter would be at class for like three hour chunks at a time. Yep. And I'd lay in the hammock Hooked up to your IV. Yep, IV pole and all. I, you know, I realized a long time ago, like, if I care what people think, like, oh, what, that girl has an IV pole, that's weird. Like, if I care about that, I'm not gonna live my life. I'm just gonna sit in the house. So I was like, you know what? I don't care if people see my IV pole. And out I went. So you're saying embrace your accoutrements? Yeah. Embrace your accoutrements. How'd the car thing go? It was good. Oil change, tires rotated. They're, <laughs> they're nice there. I sat outside in the sun. <laughs> nice. I was glad I had my lawn chair with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. All right. All right. I got a lunch meeting and I'll be back. My appetite has not been super great lately. Nothing really sounds good, but cream cheese and some red and yellow peppers. Pretty much always sounds good to me. You guys keep telling me that I need to try like whatever, what's it called? Bagel, everything but the bagel seasoning on my cream cheese pepper, which I have it. I'm just, I'm a super plain Jane type of food person. So, it's gonna mess up my texture, but I'll try it for you. Oops, hair. Hi, garlic. Wow, that's pretty good. I kind of like the crunchy texture in there. See, that's what I mean. If you think you're not gonna like something in your head, I've been learning this 
while I've been painting the last year. I've been painting more the last year. Um, if you think I'm not this kind of person, like I don't like to paint XYZ or I don't like to eat XYZ, go ahead and try it because you might have changed. I did it. I went all in. I put it on all of it. I wonder if I need more. Like that much? Okay, we'll see what happens. I officially drove here with no directions. I think I'm actually learning. I thought... By here, we came to get a little snack. Sushi. What? Oh, oh there's a video playing. <laughs> the video playing on the car speakers. Creepy. Okay. I thought I would never be able to get over the lack of confidence, which also came with fear of driving. I think I'm getting over it. Yeah. I thought that would never happen. Yeah, not coughing all the time makes a big difference. Huge difference. I was sneezing while I was driving the other day. And it reminded me like... Yeah. It would be very difficult to be coughing continually while I drive. Yeah. Well, I... This, people, some of our friends sometimes ask like, So, why is it that Mary doesn't drive much? <laughs> And like we try to explain it, but I think it's a complicated answer that includes 10 years of marriage with her declining lungs and um... What do you mean marriage? What? 10 years of marriage? Well, I guess I'm just thinking it's in the 10 years of our marriage that you went from driving all the time to driving hardly ever. Yeah. And I mean, part of it's the practicality of we're usually together, and I'm... Yeah, we have one car. Yeah. But, life looks different now, and Mary drove, and tell us about your little Philly cheesesteak egg roll. There it is. Yeah. You it's basically like said it. Korean beef in a wonton outer... Oh, wrapper. Wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, Mary loves it as a little snack. Mm -hmm. It's not really my cup of tea. Hot, squishy, cheesy? It's not usually... The only like hot, squishy, cheesy I do is pizza. Greasy, cheesy pizza, yeah. But not pizza. <sighs> Honey, you did so good. Okay. It was scary. I've been doing so fine and I'll tell Peter like I'm not even scared and then we went on the worst part. Well we drove a route from we stopped at Aldi and they had seltzer water. He got yeah. six cartons of seltzer water well, so we should be. they're always sold I out. know it's bad. Okay so so we we'll should be, be stocked for, for like for a, a little, week. Yeah. yeah, a week or two. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah. <laughs> we drove from Aldi to Sam's Club, and that's not a route we usually go. And I was like, I'm never driving to Sam's Club again. But he said that this was just a bad route. It was scary. It's just the, it's the, the highway, it's like a six lane road. And then the highway splits. And so, and, and she did great, but she was freaking out there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, here it goes, something like this. Get in the right lane, okay? Oh, and I get over and he's like, actually, I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so it's partially my bad. No, it's fine. Okay, but he is an amazing teacher. I mean, I know how to drive, but I need help. I'm trying to instill confidence. That's yes, you're doing a good job at that, so. All right. Let us go inside. All right, here we go. Sam's Club. You guys know how I said, or we were having the discussion the other day that people can change and like, I can learn to be confident driving. Well, let's see if Harry can change. He has historically despised clothing, but Aldi had this little shirt and I thought it could be good sun protection. Hey, Harry. So let's see if he's a person who can change. He used to think he didn't like clothes, but hopefully 
that can change. Uh, oh, is it too small? Oh no! I think it's too small. That doesn't really help for sun, sun protection. Uh oh, he doesn't, see he thinks his spine doesn't work. It's okay my bud. Uh oh, you're all right. We're trying a shirt? Uh oh. Hmm. Go ahead, you can shake. I don't think it fits him right. Go ahead. See how like the, his back end is like leaning down? He really thinks his spine stops working when he has clothes on. You can shake it off. Shake it off. Stretch. All right, buddy. Let me take it off for you. Oh, you look so cute. I know. Okay, let me take it off. This is why we don't put clothes on the cat. There we go. No. Thankfully, it goes right back on the card it came on. You got the door. I didn't have to cut it off or anything. So we can return it. It was worth a try. It was cute. I just don't think he is ever going to wear clothes. All right, I made a little snack for us. It is Brussels sprouts, onions, topped with some bacon, and a piece of sourdough bread. And we have some brisket on the smoker, but it's probably going to be about an hour before that's done. So we'll probably have a little brisket later after it this. It was a corned beef. Yeah. And it was on clearance. clearance. After St. Patty's Day. Yeah, so we decided to repurpose it and he's smoking it. Yeah. yeah. And this is kind of like usually you eat cabbage with corned beef. And Brussels sprouts are kind of like cabbage. Tiny cabbage. Yeah. They both yeah, that's true. They're like little tiny cabbages. They both smell interesting. <laughs> that's right. Corned beef brisket. Smoked on the smoker. One sourdough. Mozzarella cheese. Harry. Harry! Don't eat the brisket. Oh. <laughs> Taking a walk in the woods. Wait, it was gonna be like a quiet clip. Oh. Okay, you can be loud. I'm loud. It's cool that there's woods in our neighborhood or a little outside of our neighborhood. Good boy better hurry. What were you gonna say when it was gonna be a quiet clip? It was gonna be a quiet clip? Um, I was going to say hi. He was so interested. Sometimes Harry's really interested in the camera. Right now, right before I turned it on, he was like peering into the lens. So cute. We are back at it with the puzzle. We got back from our walk. We ate some Snickers ice cream bars. Well, we each had one. <laughs> that sounded like we just like down a whole pack of them. <laughs> and it took me back. That was a memory. I was like, I think the last time I had a Snickers ice cream bar was in our college cafeteria. Because every once in a while they had this little like chest freezer that every once in a while they stocked it with good stuff. <laughs> You'd be hearing people say, did you check it? Did you check the cooler? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody had a southern accent, but yeah, apparently no. we do. I'm sure some people did, actually, but yes, Snickers ice cream. It was delicious. We're going to try to make some more progress. I'm working on Count Chocula over here. <laughs> what are you working on? Kicks? It's all, all the cereals. So, we're going to wrap it up here, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for coming on our journey of life with us. Good See night. you tomorrow. Good night.
Tokyo Q. Oh, no. <laughs>